Can you say your name? Please note, most responses are heard upon review and not in real time. Changes in the video's filter visually mark the replies that were the most significant. Those various audio responses have been enhanced, repeated, and sometimes slowed down. As always, we do not offer this video as irrefutable evidence of the paranormal, nor do we claim our annotations are 100% conclusive. All we're asking is that you please approach the data presented here with a curious mind, and that you wear damn headphones. While investigating an undisclosed, beautiful, historic home, that was eventually turned into a funeral parlor. I received quite a surprise. During a ghost box session, a name came through of a famous ghost from a haunted location in the state of Indiana. Henry Dixon was a 35-year-old night watchman that was murdered at the Big Tunnel in Tunnelton, Indiana back in 1908. I investigated the Big Tunnel a few months prior to the funeral home. In that investigation, it seemed Henry was desperate to leave the tunnel. But did he hitch a ride with me? Better yet, how will the embedded spirits of the funeral home react to their new ghost company that I seemingly brought along? Please watch and see. I purposefully edit out all references to the funeral home and any relevant responses to the location's history. I wish I could share all my findings from that evening. It was an amazing night. My name is Matthew. We're here to uh, communicate with any spirits that might be in this house. Whether it's the spirit of someone who lived here or someone maybe who had their funeral here, we're just here to pay our respects. What was that deep? That is crazy. Something my funeral, something. Wow. Say that again. What? They say something about my funeral. Holy. I'm gonna try to get uh, two really good recordings of that real quick on my phone. We can hear you. Can you hear me? Can you say hello? You say yes? Who are we talking to?
What the fuck was that? That's a new one on me. That almost sounded like footsteps running. Yeah. You hear that buzzing? If you get it close to that, you can make a buzz too and we'll know you're standing right here. Can you do that for us? I'll step back. Can you make that buzz? Thank you. Goodbye. It's a weird thing. You know my name? Matthew. Matthew Jackson. All right, so obviously it did not say my name. This is why audio review is so imperative, especially with ghost box sessions. You cannot trust your ear and the moment all the time. Hello. Who are you? Henry Dixon? Did you follow me here or are you do you stay in this house? Where did you follow me here from? Where did you follow me here from? So, did Henry Dixon follow me? I can't say. Why? Because I'm not fucking insane. It's hard enough to know if visible people are lying to you, let alone someone that's invisible, right? Regardless, this isn't the first time I've had a spiritual hitcher and I doubt it'll be the last. As I've mentioned in the past, sometimes through ITC devices, it seems you can pick up chatter between the spirits themselves. Maybe the ethereal residents of the funeral parlor may have invited Henry Dixon to stay there. I can't say for sure, but it sure is interesting. I repeat this clip again. It's footage from another phone and I just thought the audio was a little bit crisper. What are their names? 
Are you someone that stays in this house? Be? Are we bothering you? with this house
there any rules as to what you can say or not say? Sacred. 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 Yeah. Okay. That's the same kind of word. Is this place sacred? It is. Do you, do, do you feel like we're being disrespectful? Do you believe in God? Well, we, we keep thinking we're seeing something by you, Mike, right? in this doorway. We keep thinking we're seeing something by you in this doorway. Are you real? Yeah. But I'm feeling my hair sticking right straight up. But if she keeps rubbing on my back, I won't really care. <laughs> Is someone in this room now with us? Are you Can you light this up blue? Uh, blue. How did you die? As we wrapped up our evening, we ended it with the infamous Emmett House box, which gave no relevant replies to the location that we are in, but once again, it told us a little bit about the Emmett House. Who am I speaking with? Who? Speaking to a ghost? You remember the in that house? You do? Happened to the in the house.